Businessmen pulled away this older man's chair at a restaurant and learned a life lesson. Clarence Purvis lunchtime in a small town diner in Georgia, USA. A tall man in a suit rushed through the door, talking on his cell phone. His name was Travis Howard, and he seemed to be desperately looking for a table, but the place was at maximum capacity, and all the chairs appeared to be occupied. He only found one empty chair across the table from a margin who seemed to be over 90 years old. He was having lunch alone but, for some reason, had two chairs at his table. So, without saying anything, he took the empty chair from the table and carried it to the counter to sit down and have his meal. The older man got up and asked why he had taken his chair without asking permission. The young man just looked up and laughed slightly, why should I have to ask you for an unused chair, sir? It was empty, and you were clearly eating your lunch alone. The elder looked the man firmly in the eye and said he was not alone but accompanied by his wife, pointing to the picture frame on the table. There were two pictures in the picture frame, one in black and white of a young woman and a more recent one, in color, of an older lady. Travis Howard felt confused and didn't exactly understand what was going on. Even though he was in a hurry, he gave the chair back to the older man because a family at a nearby table had just left, leaving four other chairs va vacant. He sat back down and kept trying to figure out what was going on as he watched the man eat his lunch with a picture frame. Eventually, the older man noticed the younger man's stares and motioned for him to come closer, the man was so curious that he forgot he was late for a meeting. He sat at the table with the man and his pictures, not knowing that he would soon be struggling to hold back tears from the story he was about to hear. In 1948, 17-year-old Clarence Purvis, busy with errands and shoe shop work, had a premonition that a special day awaited him. After a perfect haircut, he planned to enjoy his mother's favorite dinner. Unexpectedly, a beautiful stranger sought help due to a broken heel. Clarence, enchanted, agreed and fixed her shoes diligently. Excited, he shared the encounter with his family, declaring he had met the woman he'd marry. The next day, they met at a dance, sparking a connection. However, their budding romance faced a challenge with the looming war. Drafted into World War II, Clarence couldn't communicate during the intense conflict. Despite hardships, he thought of Caroline Daly. Returning after ten ruling months, he found she had moved away. Undeterred, he searched relentlessly for over a decade, labeled crazy in love by others. Clarence, a skilled mechanic by 28, decided to start a business with his father repairing cars. During a cross-country trip to California to fix a motorcycle, he visited a barber shop where he shared his quest to find a lost love since the war. To his surprise, the barber, Caroline's father, revealed his daughter had been searching for Clarence. They had lost contact when moving to California during the war. The reunion was magical, and Clarence wasted no time proposing. Despite being apart for over a decade, their connection intensified. They married and opened a mechanic shop, returning to the town where they first met. Caroline managed the books, and they enjoyed 55 years of marriage until her passing in 2013. Clarence continues to visit the diner where they first met, carrying a framed photo of Caroline for every meal. Their enduring love story remains an inspiration. As a result, the man and his photo wife are well known to everyone in the establishment. Clarence also then, with a friendly smile and wave, he says, see you tomorrow.